It's fast, it's unpredictable, and it's fun to build. It's the Super Cap Racer Kit from Makershed. The Super Cap Racer Kit contains a small wire, two rubber caps, a switch, the printed circuit board or PCB, a super capacitor, two motors, power supply wires and its connector, and a battery pack. Tools you will need include wire strippers, wire snips, solder, and a soldering iron. Begin by adding a small dab of solder to each of the four motor pads on the printed circuit board. To affix the motors, hold each one in place and heat the tabs to melt the solder underneath. To add stability, make a structural connection with a blob of solder right in between the motor housing and the PCB. The trick is to work quickly to avoid burning out the motors with the iron. Position the iron so that it evenly heats both the motor and the large pad underneath it. Line up the switch to the PCB so that the small red button is on the left. Then insert the switch into the PCB. When soldering the switch, apply pressure to the board to counteract the spring. Otherwise it won't lay flat. Trim the leads on the switch to make room for the super cap. The long lead on the supercapacitor is negative. The PCB is marked with a plus and minus. Make sure the capacitor's longer lead goes into the hole marked negative. Solder the cap into place and give the leads a quick trim. The battery pack is connected to the racer via a small power connector. Match the red and black wires to the words red and black on the PCB. Be careful of the capacitor when you solder this connection. Trim the leads once it's done, then remove the wires from the connector for now. Strip the end of the small white wire and place it in the hole marked tail. That's right, the racer gets a tail. Solder the tail into place from the front of the PCB, then trim the lead. Next, bend the tail into a curved shape, which will allow the racer to stand on three legs. What about wheels? These rubber caps are great wheels, but they're too long. Trim them down to about a quarter inch then slide them onto the ends of the motor, making sure not to push them on too far. If the wheels touch the motor's body, they won't be able to turn. The Super Cap Racer is complete, but needs charging. Strip the ends of the red and black power supply wires. Twist their ends, then solder them to the corresponding tabs on the battery pack. Red is positive and black is negative. When the soldering is done, fill the battery pack with AAA batteries. To charge the racer, press and hold the switch, then plug in the battery pack. The super cap charges fast. Hold the switch down for 10 to 20 seconds, then unplug the racer, and when you release the switch, the racer will zoom. Try bending the tail to make the racer do some crazy moves. Experiment with longer charges for faster speeds. Super cap racer versus robot astronaut. Who will win? Run it through paint to make super cap racer art. Death-defying stunts are really fun, but never encouraged. Turn off the internet and get soldering. Oh wait, don't turn off the internet yet. Go to makershed.com, get the super cap racer, then check out make projects for complete instructions.